What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Ostentoski here of Mason Brew, bringing you another Michigan basketball highlights video. Michigan wins this one against the Maryland Terrapins, 87 to 63. I said in my last video, I'd be most interested to see how they bounce back after that tough loss on the road against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And it seems like they exercise those demons, at least against Maryland here. Real quick before we dive in, if you like these videos, please consider subscribing. If you don't like these videos, then what are you doing here? I'm just kidding, but let's get into this one. Early start for number 30, but Dickinson is there. Good to see him getting going early after the uh, not so great performance against Minnesota. Franz Wagner, nice little hesitation on that layup. And this is what I want to point out right away. Dickinson just has a gravitational pull on every single one of these players. All right. They chose not only on Davis, but on Dickinson. Or I should I should say that the other way. Not only on Dickinson, but on Davis as well. They double Dickinson. And what does Dickinson do here? Dribbles to get out of it, and then he passes up to the top of the key, right? Because of that pull, because of everyone getting pulled towards this direction, that opens up a lot of options here on the perimeter. And uh, you find the ability here for Dickinson, who's a really great passer, to find Mike Smith at the top of the key, and he gets going early. All right, you're up 5 nothing early here. Uh, here's number 11. You got Daryl Morsell trying to go in, and Dickinson says, no, thank you. I'll take my first block of the game. And uh, it's a shot clock violation against the Terrapins. So good to see him on back-to-back -back possessions there, doing well on defense. Good little fake there from Mike Smith. One thing I want to see more from him just in general, this is a good fake, right? He, he beats Morsell from uh, that pump fake. But then, look, he drives the lane. He's got a lot of options here, right? You can go to the corner to Franz. You can go right here on the wing to Livers. You only have one defender, really, who'd be able to guard either one. Instead, he's going into a really tough teeth of the defense there and uh, not an easy shot to make, and it, it doesn't get made. So <laughs> good defense here on the switch from Franz and Mike Smith. Forces the turnover. That's Wiggins turning the ball over for Maryland. Here's a screen that the staff wanted, a moving screen. This is more of a guy just falling over. You can see Dickinson right here. That's a good screen. He's set his place there. The guy just kind of falls over and then pulls Dickinson on top of him. So Mike Smith, two for two on his three-pointer. You can see there the guy just like, whoa, he gets taken out. Mike Smith coming up big early here. Here's a nice layup. Finally, they get a point. Maryland does on the board with Wiggins. A nice drive there. And then a turnover here. Not the best pass from Franz. Good hustle there from Livers to at least uh, not allow the easy basket, get the foul, make them earn it on the free throw stripe. And they were poor at that. Maryland was all game. Here's a good drive from Livers. And that's an excellent look on the wing. And there's Mike Smith's third straight three-pointer. They got him for a flop warning here. He did get hit on the arm. Probably not enough to fall over. But regardless, three for three. Here's a good drive from Maryland. Good anticipation there from Franz. Again, right here. Why is he doing this? Right? He he's it's a great job from him to create the turnover, but he's just walking into like three or four defenders there. Instead, he could have, if you look back here, he could have dropped this off for Mike Smith, right? If he goes right here and drops this off right behind him, you have a couple options. You can either go over to Livers, you can go to a trailing Mike Smith. Instead, he just kind of forces it a little bit too much. So in transition, need to be a little more patient in these scenarios. Um Here's Livers getting established early with a deep three. Just can't give him any space really on the perimeter. He'll make something happen there. There's a good move from 30. Good defense from Dickinson able to wait out the rebound there. And then you have this little pick and, pick and roll action and Livers again. A little bit deeper of a three and uh, you just can't give him that much room. Number 11 here. This is Daryl Morsell again. A uh, good basket there. Franz was a little disappointed after that one. That's just a good shot. That's not a high percentage shot. Uh, well defended, and he's going to hit those. Uh, there's another one where I, um, Mike Smith just forcing the shot a little bit there. Dickinson with a nice pass finds Franz Wagner, who drives and tries to end someone's life. So let's go back to this play again. So, again, what, what are they doing? They're doubling these guys. All right, so what's Dickinson trying to do? He's going to... Uh, observe his options, right? Because you only got three guys. You got four guys on the perimeter if you're Michigan. You only got three guys to really defend that, okay? So the first obvious look would be Mike Smith, but this guy comes over, okay? So by this guy coming over to Mike Smith, this is eliminated, right? You don't want to pass this, and that's why the first look is going to be uh, more towards this side because of this motion, and then you only have two guys to cover the three remaining uh, Michigan guys on the perimeter there, right? So 
with and then with a driving uh, livers here, that's going to take out number five, right? He has to follow there, and that's what's going to open up Shondi Brown. So that's really important for livers to vacate that because that puts eleven in a lot of in like just a really bad spot, right? If I d divide this court in half, he has to guard essentially not only the three at the top of the key, but a corner three as well, and that's just not possible. So it's a really good job from livers to cut to the basket there to put number eleven in a really tough spot, and then. Because of that, and I know this is a really long breakdown, but because of that, number two has to just fly out, right? Just has to fly out to the corner to try to contest this. And that just opens up this huge lane for Franz Wagner. He goes in to end uh, Ayala's life with his poster. He doesn't get it. It gets fouled, hits the free throws. But uh, that's a great, great response to the double team there. There's Ayala trying to get the uh, three-pointer that got tipped from Mike Smith. Unfortunately, they're able to get the rebound, but good defense. Again, you got Franz Wagner on Ayala doing really well. Um, try to get the entry to the post, and Davis challenges that, forces the turnover. So a good couple of defensive possessions there. And then good job from Franz. Again, attacking the key, kick out to Johns. He hits a three. He's really been coming on strong these past couple of games. Uh, here's a good play for Maryland that just doesn't go down. They're able to find Scott open behind the arc, and they just weren't falling for them early. You're up 14. A turnover for there, Brooks. Good to see him back in the lineup, but commits the turnover there. And then, yeah, Scott with a nice little step-back shot. He's a, he's a challenge to cover because he's more athletic. He's kind of like a bulkier livers, in my opinion. Um, not as high upside, but um, really good player. There's a really good entry pass from Zeb Jackson, so really good job off of the screen right there. You see him slip. Jackson is able to find him. Good ball placement up high. Something you want you to take a look at is watch Davis's head right here. Catch it, a little fake, and that gets Marcel off his feet right here, right there. That little head fake gets Marcel off his feet, able to put in the reverse layup, no problem. And then again, here's Scott. Can't give him too much room, and he'll he'll bury it. That's five straight points for him. Good little sky hook there for Johns. Again, he's turning it up in the past couple of games. You got Davis down low. They didn't double him as often as Dickinson. They allowed Davis to go to work down there, and he did. I thought this could have been a push-off. Uh, it was like this third move. Like, this is fine, fine. I thought right there that could have created a little bit of separation there against Smith. So they, it didn't get, didn't get called, but uh, just a little nitpick. And then, again, 13 against Davis. That's a mismatch on defense. Um, Davis, not the best game for him defensively. Picked up a few fouls. It's just an NBA move. You know, no way that you can really guard that with his length. Uh, and then, again, here's the double, right? You see right here, as soon as Dickinson says, I'm doubled, boom. You give this to Smith, that force is number 11. This force is number 11 to fly out here to guard this three-point. And, again, this just rotate the ball, right? Rotate the ball. They're operating at a one-man disadvantage, go around the horn. And then that creates this opportunity for livers, right? Because you rotate this ball so quickly, boom, 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 this forces all these defenders to fly out here, right? You have to fly. You have to fly out here to challenge the shot. Because of that happening, Livers is able to use that momentum against him. He breaks this dude's ankles, and then it's like a three-injury play where number 11 goes down. I think Livers gets hit in the uh, unmentionables down here with the knee. You can see right there, ankle breaker against number 11. He's able to create that space with the lane to the basket. And then you got like a knee to the not-so-great area for Livers. He is okay. Um, then you got a, a block there from Dickinson. You see number 11 uh, proposing his case there to the refs. It doesn't work out. That was, that's a good layup for Wiggins against Dickinson, but it's a tough shot, right? Here, Dickinson trying to get his offense going, not able to get it going. So good defense for Maryland, at least on that one. Eli Brooks able to get the strip here, goes down. He gets fouled hard, um, but good job from him to create that turnover. And that was the right take because it was one-on-one -on -one right there. Uh, this is an open look for 23. Again, they just weren't falling for, for Maryland. So even in the rare case they did, an opportunity they weren't able to capitalize there's just a kind of a sloppier uh turnover uh for dickinson um and i think that i, I don't know just mis miscommunication there here's a good job for mike smith he drives the lane kick it out to shawnee brown and that dude is just automatic from the corner right you just cannot let him with especially with how athletic he is well that was weird fade to black but <laughs> he can get up over even a, a decent closeout there's Dickinson giving up another basket. Again, not his best game. He had a few blocks. Here is just an aspect of Mike Smith's game that is just really underrated. He's able to see when guys are maybe not in the best position, maybe a little lackadaisical, and he just turns it on like he's Sonic the Hedgehog. He's going flying down the court here. I thought this speed was, or this uh, clip was like sped up, but that was the true speed. He's just really quick, able to get that basket. This was a crazy foul. I don't know how it's called. Maybe Shondre Brown 
did push him here. The bench can't believe it. So, like, I don't know. It looks like he's kind of falling back into Shawnee Brown. Maybe you'd argue that this leg, this left leg of Shawnee Brown is pushing him this way. But I can't believe they call this a foul against uh, Michigan. You see the <laughs> reaction of this guy especially is kind of how I was feeling. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> but uh, good energy again. Good little dish there to Franz Wagner. And that's a contested three. He's able to hit it. So even when Maryland is able to uh, amply cover these uh, these shots, Michigan's able to knock him down. Again, this is a good job from Franz with a little pump fake, able to drive the lane. And you got, again, just the numbers. You got 24. He's in a tough spot. He has to, I, he has to at least respect Franz Wagner's drive here. But that takes him away from Eli Brooks. Is a clean lane for a pass, and it's a corner three that uh, Eli Brooks will say yes, thank you, and it's a good way to start the second half here. And you're up 20 with uh, with that basket. So good job there for Franz to dish. He's really settled down. Uh, here's a turnover, and again, Mike Smith, slow it down, man. You're going against Scott, right? That's not a favorable matchup for you. Uh, and you got two other Maryland Terrapins before any other Wolverines. So him just rushing that a little bit is the biggest area of, of I think, Michigan's transition game that he can improve. This is a little and one. Just a little nick right there on the elbow is the right call. So unfortunate. But um, Michigan's offense continued to uh, be pretty productive. Really nice wraparound pass there. Able to find Livers at the top of the key. He buries it. Super efficient day for him. And then finally Dickinson able to take out some frustration at the rim there. For basket, good defense there for Mike Smith. Unfortunately, Morsell's able to get that. He is jawing at the ref. He gets teed up. Head coach for Maryland comes out. He gets teed up, and then somehow Michigan gets a tech on the bench, like a bench technical. The coach is just freaking out here. I didn't even see this guy get hit. That angle's not good enough. But this next angle, you can see him just fired up, man. <laughs> but this next angle, I didn't even see him get hit right there. Right? I think he's talking about right here for Franz, maybe a little bit. I mean this. To be fair, this isn't the best angle, but it didn't look like it, you know, got hit too much. But he's probably just not happy about having to wear that face mask. You can see that's a warranty technical. So I don't know what the bench technical against Michigan was. But again, here's really good ball movement from Michigan off of the double. That creates that opportunity for Eli Brooks to get the easy floater. And he capitalizes there. He got Ayala with a really good drive. He's a good player for Maryland, able to get past Dickinson there. And then here's good player for Maryland 24. Scott just getting sent to the block house. That makes no sense. Block party, whatever. <laughs> Franz Wagner's good. There, I'll end it there. This one, the bench was like going crazy for Maryland after this one. Like they want to foul. But watch the, uh, so like the initial jump, this is a good pump fake from Ayala gets livers up in the air. But watch his left hand right there. Boom. Right on top of the ball. It dislodges it from Ayala's grip. That forces the tough shot and the turnover. So good job from livers sticking with that. And then again, here's double team, one extra pass to Shawnee Brown. He misses that. But again, let's just go back and look at what this does again. So you have the double team, right? You're going to have Scott. Scott's cutting off the immediate target here. So then you only have number two, right? Number two, and you have two guys here that he has to account for. So by this pass or this uh, nice lane for this pass for, uh, for Dickinson, that creates this conflict for number two. Where do I go? Do I have to go here or leave the open guy here? That one extra pass from Wagner to Shawnee Brown, and that's an open look. He's not able to capitalize, but again, that's a super high percentage three-point shot that you want him taking all the time. Really nice job there from Mike Smith driving the baseline, finding livers there. And then a good shot from 30 over Dickinson. Um, not too upset about that one, but uh, number 13 here drops off for 25. He's able to knock down a three, so Maryland trying to stick in this one. They're still down 18. Again, there's the double team trying to get on Davis, and uh, livers makes him pay there. Again, just good ball rotation. That one extra pass after the double team, they're not able to close out fast enough to challenge Michigan's athleticism out there. And then if they don't double, you got Davis just going to work down low, right? So it's you really pick your poison. Uh, this is a good play from Scott. Scott's a good player. I like him a lot. Um, so here, again, they're not really doubling or the double's coming late, and Davis just going to work. His footwork is really great. Him on the offensive side is, is really great. You see the bench loving it. You got livers dancing. They're having a good time. Uh, nice pass here down to Davis down low. I thought he got pushed right there. So right here, I thought 25 got a little push right there. He got away with that. So that causes a uh, travel. It is right call on travel. I thought he missed a foul. So not able to get that one going. But again, one extra pass. Shawnee Brown in the corner. Dude's automatic. Can't let him have those. And then he was passed down low. Yeah, Brooks, I think, just has to let that one go. Can't challenge inside the arc like that. 
and uh, creates the end one opportunity. And here's a clinic on how to beat the the full court press. All right. So this is one one dribble from Zeb Jackson right there. Boom, pass to Eli Brooks, one pass to Johns, and you get the dunk. So this is just beautiful, really well done, really well drawn up, and uh, good passing, and the ball doesn't really have to uh, leave anybody's hands. doesn't have to get dribbled at all. Uh, there's a good shot from Ayala, um, still down 20. Good job there from Mike Smith on the turnover. And this is what you want to see, right? You're outnumbered, a little pass to Livers, finish to Johns, and he's able to put that one in. Um, there's a nice cut for number 11, able to put that one in. So we're getting towards the end of the game here. And Franz, again, with another fadeaway jumper. If he, if he can put those down, then I don't know how you defend this team, honestly. Uh, good job from Johns on defense, creating this turnover. And Franz on the fast break, throws this one down comfortably. Uh, you're up 22 at this point. Uh, I don't know why I included this one. I think I just didn't like this moving screen. I don't know what you want Johns to do here. That's just a screen. I guess he's moving a little bit. Anyway, I didn't really agree with a lot of the refs. John Howard's with me with the hands up. What was that? Anyway, now you got the backups in. Terrence Williams kind of has been a little bit out of the rotation, giving up that basket. Miscommunication there from Zeb, Zeb Jackson. Zeb Jackson's got about like eight minutes, I believe, in this one. And then, wow, look at this play. You got the headband walk on. The bench loves it. Picking up the charge. Number 32, Wilson right there. Beautiful. Get in the way. Get the foul going. That's great. And then you got Terrence Williams. Good post moves down low. Bench loves it. Dickinson with the arm pump. And that's it. 87-63. to 63, Michigan wins this one. Let's throw stats on your screen right now. Livers, 20 points. Really efficient day. 5 of 8 shooting. 4 of 5 three-pointers. Five rebounds, three assists. Really, really great day for him. Wagner, great on his own right. 15 points, five of nine shooting, six rebounds, three assists. And then Smith and Johns each had 11 points. Four of 10 shooting for Smith, so a little bit less efficient than Johns, who is four of six. Um, six assists for Smith, and Johns tallied four rebounds as well. So three key points. Dickinson was doubled, right? Every time he got the ball, they pretty much doubled him. They started with the... Dickinson will not beat us strategy, right? They, he shredded him in their first game. I think he had like 26 points on 10 of 11 field goals uh, in the first matchup against Maryland. So Maryland came in in this game just saying anyone but him. And uh, it's clear that uh, Michigan was okay with that with the 87-point uh, <laughs> performance, right? Again, it's pick your poison. You give open looks with how Michigan responded to that, and Michigan generated a ton of really high percentage three-point shots because of how they were double-teaming Dickinson. So... Despite the lower uh, offensive performance from Dickinson in this one, it benefited Michigan uh, to take advantage of that, and they did really well in that regard. Number two, other bigs were still able to do some work, right? So Davis was able to do work down low when he wasn't doubled or when Maryland uh, didn't go with that strategy against him. Uh, nine points for him. And Johns, really efficient day with him for uh, 11 points. Nice to see some depth there at both the four and five position with those two uh, healthy and then finally, number three, Mike Smith bounced back. So started this game really well with three straight three-pointers after zero points uh, against Minnesota. Uh, leaning on him uh, for offensive production is big, being able to have your point guard there. Uh, would like to see him cut down on some of those transition turnovers we talked about, but besides that, really good, out, uh, really good game for him. And uh, that's it. Michigan takes on a red-hot Purdue team on Friday the 22nd. But that's all I got for you guys. Again, if you enjoy this kind of video, uh, throw a subscription. Throw a like on it. Throw a comment on what you don't like. If you don't like me, whatever. Throw a comment on it. <laughs> Besides that, guys, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Stay safe out there. And as always, go blue.